Those type of stories are real in everybody's life. I don't know what kind of stories you have in your life. I don't know anything about you. At this point, I don't even know your name. <laughs> but I'll promise you that if you tell me a story, I can show you a couple of techniques using the three E's to make that story more powerful in building relationships that you don't have yet. You willing to take, take me up on that? Sure. Are you willing to be recorded? Sure. Come on up. <laughs> I'm Sean. Lauren, nice to meet you. All right, so Sean, here's all I'm going to ask you to do. Does somebody have a, a timer on their iPhone or on their on their watch? Karen's got a timer for me. Uh, get me started, and when we get to two minutes, I just everybody will start clapping. This is our sign to shut up. Okay? When we get to two minutes, everybody will start clapping. Okay. <laughs> what I'm going to ask you to do is think for a moment about a point, and by a point I mean a call to action. What is it you would like me or the crowd to do, or in the most common profitable, think profitable, in the most common profitable transaction that you have on a regular basis, what is it you're asking them to do? Hire me to do your plumbing, uh, buy this car for me, build your house through me, whatever it is. Sign up for Dynamax through me, whatever it is. Okay? What would that most profitable thing be in one statement? I want you to... Uh, you're a lot of options. Um, What's the most profitable? Most profitable is, of course, Dynamax. Dynamax. I want you to be a part of my team in Dynamax. Right. Okay. Yes. That's his. That's his call to action. I want you to be a part of my team in Dynamax. Okay. I don't care what story you tell me, but it has to be your story, not something you read in a book, not something you heard on the radio, not a story from. And here's the rest of the story. Okay. Yeah. It's something from Sean's life. Easy ones are when I was about 10 years old. Just think of a moment. I'm trying to tie that into a point. I don't care if you do or not, I'm going to. <laughs> 10 years old, plumbing, <laughs> Dynamax. It doesn't have to be about plumbing. No, no, no. no Whatever no, no, happened no, no. when you were 10. Just tell us a story from when you were 10. Get my point. You don't have to do that. Part. You don't have to worry about the point. I don't have to worry no, about just, you got two minutes to tell me a story. You ready? Tell me a story. Okay. Yep. Um, when I was probably 13 or 14, I'll use the bike situation, I had a good friend of mine um, who lived down the street. Actually, he wasn't a friend yet. Um, we were riding bikes. I fell in front of my, my house. Got his jeans caught in the in the bike chain. You know, it was back when we were kids. We would take the, the chain guard off because that was the cool thing to do. You put, cards on your bike and everything to make it that front of noise and everything. Well, he had fallen down in front of my street. You know, we had, back then, with the gravel was, you know, kind of just sitting there, so you would skin your knees, you would get gravel on your knees. And, um, my mother ran out, wanted to see if he was okay. He was crying. It was probably, I don't know, we were probably 12 or 13. Um, he sat on the, you know, on, the, on our sidewalk. My mother came out. Got scissors, cut his jeans, you know, to the point where the chain came off, or his, je his jeans got out of his chain. Asked where he lived, you know, asked for his phone number, you know, the home phone number called. I went out there. My mother said, "Will you go out and you know, keep him company?" Well, sat out there, kind of talked about things. He quit crying. Um, we became best friends. We're you know friends up at our right wedding. Even after that, um, he was the best man in my wedding. Um, <coughs> but. I guess kind of one of the points there is that you never know what might happen in front of you. His tragedy turned into something that was positive, you know, so it just kind of helped us uh, create that friendship. Saw my mother and, you know, taking care of somebody else, and not just ourselves. Um, I don't think he ever rode a bike again. Or <laughs> um, Or what? Um, that's it. That's the end of the story. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. How long was that? A minute fifty seconds. A minute fifty. Very good. All right. Mom comes in telling me, "You got to come keep this kid company. He's crying. He's screaming in the street." I called his parents. I've already cut his pants off. What, mom? I cut his pants off. You know, they got stuck in the bicycle chain. It was common in our age. We would take the the chain guard off. 
and you'd be riding, and all of a sudden that chain would just wrap around, and bam, all of a sudden your leg's stuck in there, and you can't pedal, because your leg is stuck, and you can't go anywhere. All you can do is fall over. And so he did, in the gravel, right in front of my house. And that was <clears throat> years ago. And to this day, he's my friend. In fact, he was the best man at my wedding. I don't know about you, but I like having friends that I can count on. I like having people that when I'm in a tragedy, whether it was an accident or not, they come from nowhere and step up to my side. You know what else? I like being a friend like that. I like being the guy that will come sit there in the middle of the street with you while you're waiting on your parents. Who will show up in the middle of the night. Because there's no greater love than this than a man would lay down his life for a friend. Right? And I'm part of an organization called Dynamax. We provide nutrients for various purposes in life. Maybe it's more energy. Maybe it's more peace. And I love to have people on my team that are going to be there in the middle of the night. They're going to come when I'm stranded on the side of the road. They're going to come cut my pants out when I need it. And if you want to be a part of that team, I'd love to talk to you. So for four hours, we're going to talk about all of those aspects. Everyone is going to bring their best story to the front of the room, and we're going to hammer on it until those little words that can cause dissonance are erased. Until those moments of, I'm not sure I'm comfortable telling this story, are gone. And so you can take that story, those two minutes, and put anything. Sign up, buy my car, build my garage for $500, whatever it is. Whatever call to action you want to, we'll be able to slide right in the end of that. And because you built such a great rapport with these people, they know you, they like you, and they trust you. You can put any call to action you want to in the end of it, and they will emotionally buy in. Beyond that, you're going to learn that just like when you make muffins, it doesn't matter what you put in that silly little piece of paper, it comes out looking like a muffin, right? Or a cupcake. Every single time. You could put spaghetti and meatballs in there. And when you're done, it's going to look like a muffin. Because it doesn't matter what's in your story when you use the process, the system, just like with Dynamite. When you use the system, you get the same thing every time. You're going to get results. That class is on April the 20th. It's right here. It's four hours. starts at 2, ends at 6. Tickets are 99 bucks a piece, but if you want to buy them tonight, they're buy one, get one free. Bring a downline, bring a spouse, bring a friend, bring somebody else. Tell them the tickets are 99 bucks and let them buy yours too.